Disclaimer, I was wrong about one thing. And the one thing I was wrong about was I said WrestleMania was one week. No, 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 not one week, two weeks from today. So I just want to throw that disclaimer out there to let everybody know I was wrong on that. My bad, it's two weeks from today. It's in April 5th, April 5th and 4th and 5th. Yeah, yeah, night one, night two, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now let's jump into this video. Let's discuss this weekly highlight. Starting with Raw. On Raw, we got Cody Rose in the ring. Talking all that big boy talk to Roman Reigns. Not sneak this or no, 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 no. It's just full fledged going at him. Roman Reigns, you met my mother and you seen my mother and I met your, I met your mother. Your mother is a nice woman, so I don't have nothing to say about her. Comes out, comes out, Paul Heyman. I'm sorry, may, may I get in the ring with you? So we, we got a deal. Um, Roman Reigns would like to meet you on SmackDown one on one. No bloodlines, just you guys. Do you accept? Well, Paul Heyman, big words, Cody. I, I, I can't like do the big words that he that he know. I am sabbatically quitted, a quit. I don't, I don't know. I can't think of a big word to say because he, like he, he fills it in so smooth. I, I, I don't know how he do it. But they shake hands. So SmackDown, we push, we push the SmackDown highlights. Roman Reigns, Cody Rose, face to face, mano a mano, man to man, um, tribal chief to Cody Crybabies. Um, um, acknowledge me to whoa, yes. So we got them two face to face, they going back and forth. Roman Reigns, ah, you, you, you're a stupid guy, you're a stupid guy. Like, you, you like partners with my little brother, Seth Rollins. You, you do know I was in the shield. He said that you guys are the shield, I was in the shield, and you know what happened to the shield. He betrayed us. Well, Roman, I just know that this, this Roman. Ugh. Ugh. That's why I got the shirts on because I, I feel like Roman didn't go to win, but ugh. Ugh. Cody says the Roman. Well, the Roman, um, I do know he do he do not respect me. He do not like me, but I know he does he doesn't like you even more than he likes me. So I'm not worried about that. Cool. Roman Reigns exit the ring. Once Roman Reigns exit the ring, we just glance from the stage. You just see Solo and you see Jimmy on this side. They come around the ring, like they come from the out of the crowd. They walk over there to Roman. And then you see out of the other side of the crowd, you see Seth Rollins and you see Jey Uso. They come to the ring too. It was a fire segment. It, it, it was a pretty, it, it was a well, it was a well driven segment. Like it, it hypes up more of the, who's going to come out on top at WrestleMania. Will we have the acknowledge me or will we have the woe? Will we have the tribal chief in the final ball versus the revolution? Revolutionary, the architect, and the Cody Crybabies, aka the Woes. I'm just so excited to see how this is gonna play out. Who do you guys think is gonna win? Me, I'm not biased, but I think Roman Reigns is gonna win night one. Cody them gonna win night two. And this is another thing I forgot to tell you guys too. I am so so crazy for even thinking this that I forgot to leave this out. Dude, do we not really re we 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 keep forgetting the elephant in the room of betrayal? Paul Heyman, come on, that like. <laughs> Paul Heyman betrayed every person he aligned himself with. CM Punk, he kicked CM Punk to get the Brock, like to help Brock Lesnar out. He kicked Brock Lesnar to help out Roman Reigns. Like he got a cycle of these things. So I think, I, I keep saying a legend and I keep saying like a, a legend is gonna betray and it's gonna be a betrayal on, on WrestleMania. Paul Heyman's that legend. Come on now. It's either one or two people. It's either Paul Heyman's gonna betray Roman. The Rock is gonna betray Roman. If we if we really open our eyes and look at it, Roman Reigns is the tribal chief. The Rock is the final boss. Come on, there's two and two. Like two people can't be like number ones. They can't be. So it's gotta be one of one. So either Rock is gonna betray Roman, Paul is gonna betray Roman, or Rakishi's gonna come back and betray Rock and Roman. So Cody, like, cause we already know Cody's winning night two. We we already know, cause WWE is not gonna let this man not finish his story for the second year in a row. They're, they they pretty much dead. I want to see. I'm like so hyped like now. Jay versus Jimmy Uso match, cause I really want to see who is going to be the like who is gonna come out on top. Will we have main event Jay Uso? Or will we have Jimmy Uso, the one who do not get no title opportunities, but who is the big brother and also who kind of held Jay's hand through all of this time? Guess time will tell. But you guys already know how we getting into this. So I'm already letting you guys know my prediction. Rock and Roman is winning night one. So um, Cody is winning night two. That's my picks. That's my picks. And I also think that Jimmy's gonna beat Jay. I don't know why, but I feel like Jimmy needs this. He really do. But y'all didn't know how it be. Let's get it. Bang!